Dallas Smith is an addiction counselor at the Centertown Community Health Center. The Ontario Lottery and Gaming Corporation, or OLG, has shown interest in a downtown location for the casino. Smith worries this may increase gambling addictions. Downtown is very easily accessible by public transportation. Um, there's also a lot of individuals who are known to be in a more vulnerable populations in the downtown area. And when you put it in an area where there's a higher concentration of at-risk groups, um, studies have shown that those at-risk at groups develop more problems. What can the city and the OLG do to prevent gambling issues that may arise from a new casino being built? Well, I guess when I think of gambling, there's sort of three key things that can lead to increased problems with gambling. So one is definitely location and accessibility. Uh, the second thing is the type of games. So there are certain types of games that are more high risk than other types of games. Stuff like ele electronic gaming machines or slot machines. So the third thing I think is the hours of operation. So uh, a gambling venue that's open 24 hours, again, sort of provides more opportunities for people to play. So these are three things that both the municipality and OLG has the option to put limits or controls to reduce or minimize the harm gambling can cause. So moving forward, um, what, will you, what actions will you be taking to encourage uh, the city and the OLG to take responsible measures in uh, building a casino? We'll be doing a lot of collaborative work with other community health centers in Ottawa, other addictions treatment agencies in Ottawa, with the uh, Problem Gambling Institute of Ontario, really trying to create awareness, making sure that the decision makers have um, the latest research to make evidence-informed choices about where they're going to put the casino in Ottawa. Sarah Loudon, CJTV News, Ottawa.